My name is Jonathan Weinberg, and today I want to talk about um, the Platinum 376 Ultra Extra Extra Fine, which is a, a pen that uh, you don't see or hear a lot from artists, but I think has a really amazing nib, um, a nib that actually in some ways approaches the subtlety of a dip pen, uh, cross-hatching kind of pen. Um, this is my ultra extra fine. It's in a burgundy. Um, it's a kind of translucent burgundy, as you can see. Or I don't know how well you can see it, but let me show it to you under the, the pen view. Um, you can see it's translucent, and you can kind of see the ink uh, in it, but um, you know, it uses a converter. and uh, which actually is extra you know it's one of the things with platinum they, they have a, the platinum converter is really nice and holds a lot of ink but it's pricey so i think it was around twelve dollars um the pen itself which i was able to get on ebay was under a hundred dollars um anyway um this is the ultra extra fine this is i love this finish this is the um Chartres blue um, and again it's it's translucent but you know you can't see a lot that's going on in there it just is it's just really elegant beautiful i think it's within with the gold nib it's really really nice i would say the reason why perhaps p artists don't talk so much about the platinum the platinum 376 at least in these models is that the nib itself, the gold nibs are not particularly flexy. They tend to uh, have a single line weight. But one, one solution to drawing, I think, is instead of expecting one pen to do everything, is perhaps use two pens. Anyway, uh, today I'll do a quick writing sample of these um, two pens, and then I did a, sh a very quick drawing to show you how I think beautiful the line is. You know, in some ways, it's it's perhaps like a rapidograph line, but it it has the advantages of a fountain pen in that I, I find rapidographs just a terrible pain to clean, and I've just always had a lot of problem, particularly when you use a very fine line rapidograph. Um, and the other thing about to say about it is that it writes very very extra extra fine. It writes extraordinarily smoothly. It doesn't, uh, it's not terribly scratchy. Okay, so this is the Ultra Extra Fine. It's a uh, burgundy. Three seven six, and it's uh, Taki Sumi ink, black, basically. Uh, and don't get me wrong; I mean it's it's not super smooth, and you can hear the feedback, but it's pleasant. It's not it's not scratchy. You can see that there, it's a very wonderful, I think, line. Very, very fine. Really terrific for cross hatching. But there's not a lot of variation. And I think. Well, it depends on how you write. I mean, if, you, if you're if you one of these people who write with very tiny, tiny handwriting, this would be a very good pen to use for journaling. Okay. The quick brown box jumps over the legacy dog. It is an amazingly reliable pen. Um, you can put it away for a month 
with the cap on it and it'll write immediately. I think in that way Platinum and Pilot are very similar. Um, another thing to say about it is that uh, I think usually when you buy it, it does not come with a converter. So that's something to keep in mind. And the, excuse me, the converter holds quite a lot of ink, but um, it's not cheap. It's like $11 or $12. So that's another um, expense to think about. Um, And as a point of comparison, here is writing sample of the Platinum 376 Shark Blue. Of course, it's named after Chartres Cathedral and the stained glass blue, the wonderful stained glass blue. Again, this is the uh, Takisumi black. And this is the soft fine. Um, this has a little bit of line variation, but not a lot. And I mean, platinum pens are not totally smooth. They have a bit of feedback, but it's pleasant. Uh, it actually writes for, in my mind, this is almost like a, a medium. But it's, it's very nice, and it's a nice combo with the ultra extra fine. Okay. First writes. Notice it's actually skipping a little bit, just a tiny bit. And I should say that I have not inked this up recently, so you know it's sort of an example of what it's like being inked for like a month. I think one of the problems often with um, these pen reviews that you see online is that, you know, they're often based on inking the pen right then and there rather than the way you really use a pen. Anyway, I love these two pens. I very much love the finish, you know, it, you can't, you can't see through the, particularly the blue to so you even really see the ink, but it's just, it really is lovely. And it does, it does, um, give you something, evoke something of that quality of stained glass windows. And, um, you know, as you know, if you listen to my pen reviews, I love translucent pens. So I'm very pleased with these two pens. I think they're, they're terrific and, uh, you know, not wildly expensive. Okay, now I'm just going to show you a very uh, brief example of the Ultra Extra Frying in action, drawing a little flower. Okay, so basically my point is I, I very much like the uh, 376, both of these 376 pens, and I particularly like the Ultra Extra Fine, which 
Um, also, I think it's, at least I was able to get one for around $100, so I think it's a really great bargain. I mean, that was sort of finding one on eBay that was uh, slightly used, I think, but um, you can sometimes find them with Japanese um, sellers, too, that aren't terribly, too terribly expensive. Anyway, highly recommended.